bimbos welcome back to the channel it's your girl Gina Because in that last video, I asked if you guys wanted me to do that video for you. So here we are because one of my beauties did want that. And thank you so much for letting me know that you wanted to see that. I really appreciate it when you guys, you know, correspond with me and tell me, you know, ask me if I could do a certain kind of video and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is I'm gonna do my, my uh, moisturizer. And you guys know I live by Nivea now when it comes to that. And uh, so we're gonna get that all on our face. And since we're here with, you know, giving tips and tricks and stuff like that, if you guys want me to do a, a foundation routine, let me know if you want that as well. And be detailed with it. Tell me exactly what you want to see or what you want to know. That way I can make sure to cover, you know, what it is that you're looking for. So the next thing I do is I go in and spoolie out my brows, right? And in the last video, you saw that I, you know, did a little maintenance on my brows. So if you need to see that part, I will stick that on the card right above. So you guys can check that part out and it's right at the beginning of the video so you don't have to go through the whole video and watch it if that's what you don't want to do okay next we're gonna take the great lash brow gel and normally this goes on last after you get your brows in place but y'all know me I'm always against the grain so I'm putting mine on first. And I'm doing this simply because it helps me to, to see what I want to fill in in my brows and it helps to keep them in the shape that I want them in. So once I get the gel set in place, I then go ahead and let them air dry or get as dry as as I can I'm impatient so sometimes they don't they don't get as dry as they need to be but hopefully you guys um, have more patience than I do and then you know you can go ahead and let it dry the way it should All right, so now that I've got them <clears throat> pretty much dry the way they need to be, I go in with my NYX pencil and I go in with brown first. So basically all I'm doing is just going through and feathering out the sparse areas in there. And I'll get something that looks like that. 
So I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit so you guys can see this one a little bit better. All right, so that should give you a better view. So on this side, I have to like push my nose over so I can get that front as perfect as possible. So I take and just feather that out. And then I can kind of release off my nose a bit. And go down. And then go ahead and feather it out. To the shape that you want. Now, when it comes to determining the shape of the brow that you want, you want to keep in mind the shape of your face. So I have an oval face, and uh, just to compare you, compare it to some celebrities, uh, you have Beyonce and um, there's some others. I'm gonna bring that and list that over here. I'm trying to remember where I saw this information. But I remember Beyonce was one of the ones that had the oval face. I think the other one was Naomi Campbell, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they said that people with oval faces can pretty much do whatever eyebrow shape that they want to. Squared off faces is more framed just to soften up their faces. But yeah, guys, I'll go ahead and insert that information. I'm going to do some research and see if I can find where I saw that because I was like, oh, this is good information that my fancy beauties and bows need to see because they may be struggling with that. So yeah, but I'll insert that in here somewhere. So now once I'm kind of sort of satisfied with what they look like, and I'm just gonna kind of fix that up a little bit. All right, it's as close as I can get it right now. So then I go in with my black pencil and I just go in, like I said in the other video, and just go right underneath. And get that outline, top and bottom. Sometimes this comes out a little too harsh, and other times it comes out beautifully for me. Just depends. When I'm doing this step, I use a very light hand up at the top because, again, you don't want it too harsh especially since we're working with black. Then go back in with your spoolie and just brush that product through. Pretty much the final step is go in with my concealer, the LA Pro. 
concealer and color fawn that I use for myself and just gonna go ahead and clean up any faux pas that I, I made. When I do this, I find that if I come out further, I can get it really precise. Especially that front part. So see how I'm exaggerating it right here. whatever sponge you want. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. Now, to get that, um, that front area a little softer, I'm just going to take this spoolie and kind of comb through that to soften that area up, just to take away some of that harsh at the beginning. Now this is a new step for me, this part I just finished up, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. I have to go off camera to see if it did what I wanted it to do. What do you think guys? Y'all know I'm blind, I can't see, I ain't got my contacts in, so. I don't know how we looking right about now. But it looks pretty decent. I'm pretty pleased with that, so. Yes, guys, that is my brow routine and uh, found a little hidden secret while I was at it, okay? So yeah, y'all can use that little fancy tip right there, that little fancy beauty tip. Go ahead and put that in your, in your little routine and see if it help you out, honey. Until next time, you already know, you better stay fancy. <laughs> Bye guys.